Hello and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos. I think it's been around three months or so. But um, I hope to be back and doing a lot more um, reviews and stuff like that. But um, as I said before, I said I was going to do some SciShow collectible um, reviews and stuff. Well, um, right now I'm going to show you some customs instead first and then do some action figure reviews. And then I may get to the um, Sideshow Collectibles. And the reason I'm kind of postponing them is because those videos are a lot longer to review, like the figure itself. And um, it takes a while for the it to load up on YouTube and stuff. So um, anyhow, um, right now i got three customs right here, as you can see. So I'm going to just talk about them. <clears throat> so uh, first, this is a... Darth Maul's Mandalorian, as you see in the Clone Wars Season 5. Um, so first off, I'm just going to give you a look at this with light over some. I guess we're helmet. Um, I actually made this guy before I actually saw the, the um, Clone Wars film on TV. So I had a couple of weeks ago ended up going back and fixing some of the paint apps that I um, missed out on and stuff. But um, thought these guys were pretty cool. Um, what I used for this guy as for paint, I used the Citadel's Blood Red. Um, for the black streaks on the helmet, I ended up using the um, Citadel's Chaos Black. And for the white, I ended up using the Citadel's Skull White. And you see the grayish kind of color, I ended up using the Chaos Black. You know, Chaos Black, and I ended up using a, I believe it was Fortress Gray Citadel's paint. For the um, mixture of paint to um, for the armor, and I gave him a weathering with, which is in this jar I keep it in, and that's with chaos black and water. With uh, and then you just get a brush and brush him, the uh, weathering on him. So pretty neat. Also, um, I ended up sculpting the head. That's a sculpted beard. I ended up using the Citadel's liquid green stuff, is what, what it's called. It's a sculpting material. And that's, and the base figure is um, pretty visible. As well, the top of the helmet is made with the um, whole colored with the Citadel's bolt gun metal paint. So on to the next guy. This guy is from Season 5 as well. Um, this is the Republic Commando when he, they, he helps all, all the droids and stuff. Um, ended up using the Citadel's paint for this guy as well. Um, I ended up using Sunburst Yellow. As for the little tick marks or whatever you want to call them. Kill marks or whatever. I um, ended up using Chaos Black and I also used it on the visor as well. For the visor's blue, I ended up using the enchanted blue from Citadels. The weathering, I ended up using the Chaos Black with water. And I actually can't remember this guy's name as of right now. Um, um couldn't remember. I can't remember right now. But um, I'm just gonna show you this guy. And I also made this guy before I seen him on the Clone Wars film as well. But um, I ended up looking at pictures on the internet to make this guy. Oh, I know his name now. It's Gregor. Republic Commando Gregor. Yeah, that's it. Just thought of it. Sorry about that. Um, let's see, let's see. 
And this guy is not actually seen on any of the Clone Wars films, but is actually seen on Episode 3. This is Commander Bakara. And what I used to make him was the Rex camera and legs. Um, and the top portion of the body is from a clone trooper. And so is the helmet. And that's from actual, this is from a Kara helmet that I've cut out. And this top is from a Commander Bakara helmet as well. And it's just kind of cut out and stuff to fit on this helmet. Um, it took a long time to do that. But um, for the paint that I used for it was um, the mixture of Chaos Black with the Fortress Gray. If I can find it. And for the weathering was just the Chaos Black and water. Um, the red little dots right there is f blood red. I ended up using Fortress Gray as well for the um, markings on the helmet and Chaos Black for the lines as well. Um, the blue mark, I ended up using the, um, I think it was, I think it was the Shadow Gray, I believe. Can't really remember this, that part, but, um, yeah. Do the it for this guy. Um, now I got three more customs to show y'all. And here he is. I don't know if you can see the weathering or not. Um, this is just a commander draw. I mean, excuse me, not commander draw, the clone trooper draw. And all I did was give him a droid bait head. I didn't even haul out the helmet and you just pull off this. Put on helmet. And all I did with this guy was give him the chaos black and water weathering. And that's really it for this guy. What I did to him. Next, I did Commander Devis and Phase 1 armor. Ended up using Blood Red for his coloring. And I think that's. Oh, and I had to do a little bit of touch up and touch up you can do with the skull white paint and for the this is actually a Rex body and the, this is actually a Rex head with the sculpt I ended up sculpting hair on him and that's with the liquid green stuff and the helmet sits on there pretty tight because of the hair so, not, so I usually just Sit them on the shelf like this. Give you a look at him some more. And last, I have a commander dude I made, and it's using the clone troopers for legs, the phase one Rex camo that I just cut off him and then glued to this guy and that's actually the Rex upper body and arms and then this is just the regular Clone Wars clone trooper head and that's actually Rex's pauldron that's from the phase 2 version and the blue paint that I used on the helmet was the um ultramarines blue and this is a little bit brighter, but I actually weathered it with um, Chaos Black and water. Um, so it kind of toned it down some. And that's really it for this guy. So I'm going to give you one more look at all these guys. Mr. Davis. Season 5. Dark Maul's Mandalorian Trooper. Public Commando Gregor. Um, Commander Bakar. 
and clone trooper draw and that's really it for this video up next I'll be reviewing some Clone Wars figures as promised in um, one of my like my last video and then I have a couple of vintage collection figure packs two packs from Kmart I need to review and it'll be on from there so I want to thank you for watching this video please subscribe rate and comment and bye